Oh, how we don't wanna go! How we worry! If only the Lord would make it safely. Everything will be good. Take your bags. Dmitro Wazhenko has been evacuating residents of Kharkiv and the region since February 24, 2022. Since the authorities announced to the population the need to move to a safer place, Kupinsk direction is now one of the hottest. There are requests for evacuation every day. But in general, people are reluctant to leave only when they are under direct Russian shelling, the volunteers assure. I would like to tell everyone who will watch this story. When we win, and we will definitely win, they will continue to live in their houses. But you see, people even today do not want to leave because they are worried that something will happen to their houses. Kruhlakivka is a village on the left bank of the Oskio, which the enemy is mercilessly shelling with aerial bombs and cluster shells. After the last shelling, three people were killed, five were wounded. Lyudmila makes a decision to leave. She is evacuated by ambulance. Due to being overweight, the woman moves independently only with the help of a walker. The kids were told to leave because of the shelling. But I don't walk. What would I do? Someone could run, but what will I do? Lyudmila's sister is afraid of marauders. She does not want to leave the house and household, so she is in no hurry with the evacuation. Although she says that it is very loud in the village and the Russian shelling has become more frequent. Because of the household, it's a pity to leave it. What is said to everybody? It's a one-way route. If your house is shelled, I will run away if they are too close. Now, of course, shelling has become more frequent. It's getting closer and closer. There are even strikes three houses away from here. Valeria called the volunteers and agreed to the evacuation because of her little daughter. She is leaving her home walls with tears in her eyes. A child. We are saving the child. I really don't want to leave. I'm an orphan. This house is everything to me. But my child is more important. At one time, volunteers were taking out 34 people from villages in the Kupinsk area, although initially there were few applications. So far, people are evacuated only to Kharkiv. From there, they can go further or stay in a shelter with volunteers. According to the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, since August 9, 2023, 248 people have been evacuated, including 90 children. In order to accommodate people, university dormitories are reserved. In total, there are 3.5 thousand places, but this number can be quickly increased to 16 thousand. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Natalia Biokudria, Andriy Domovy, UATV News.